In this video, you are going to learn how to perform traction at the knee joint to assess and treat the whole capsule of the knee. Get our very own assessment ebook and mobile app. Links are in the video description. Hi and welcome back to PhysioTutors. The aim of traction is to gain information on joint play and to treat the whole joint capsule in case of high reactivity. To assess joint play of the whole capsule of the tibiofemoral joint, have your patient in prone lying position with slight hip flexion. The therapist is standing laterally. Then fixate the femur on the treatment bench with one hand and bring the knee into 70 degrees of flexion. Although the MLPP of the knee is in 30 degrees of flexion, the cruciate ligaments are already under tension. For this reason, maximal joint play in the knee is possible between 70 to 90 degrees of flexion. Now grab on to the distal tibia above the ankle from medially and perform traction into distal direction along the tibia. In order to accentuate the dorsal capsule, you can move the knee into further extension. And to accentuate the ventral capsule, you can flex the knee beyond 70 degrees. If you find that joint play is reduced compared to the other side, or if you want to decrease pain in case of a highly reactive knee joint, you can move on to treatment with this technique. In this case, lower the bench as far as possible. Then fixate the patient's femur with your own knee and ideally a towel in between for comfort. Grab on to the distal tibia with both hands and perform traction into distal direction along the tibia. An alternative to this treatment technique is to have your patient in sideline position with the unaffected leg bent at the hip and knee. The knee to be treated is then fixated on the bench at the distal femur with a traction band. Again, treatment is applied by performing traction along the tibia. The technique can be made more specific to the patient's complaints by adding internal or external rotation, adduction or abduction, further flexion or extension or combination of those movements. You can dose your techniques according to the Maitland grades of mobilization. In case of traction techniques, oftentimes an oscillating movement with a high frequency is applied with Maitland grades 1 and 2 with the goal to decrease pain. Okay, you've reached the end of this video. If you want to learn how to mobilize the knee joint in case of limited knee extension, click on the video right next to me. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't leave without subscribing to our channel and dropping a like if you enjoyed this video. This was Kai for PhysioTutors. I'll see you next time. Bye.